It's hard to believe, but I know it's true. I saw it on evening news. In a stunning victory for civil liberties in Western Australia, the Barnett government has announced that they will be introducing legislation that enables police to enter private homes without a search warrant and without the permission of the home owner. In order to be able to exercise this power, a senior police officer has to claim that a party has become unruly or out of control. Hey, Sally ate Amy's biscuits! No, she didn't! Yes, she did! No, she didn't! Yes, she did! No, she didn't! Yes, she did! Exactly what the guidelines are for making such a determination is still not clear, but the Premier hinted at the criteria in this statement to media. Violent, drunken, thug. Behaviour. Some people believe it is a bit hypocritical for the Premier to use those words against ordinary householders when the same labels describe politicians so well. Police have promised that these powers will not be used disproportionately against Aboriginal people or in poor neighbourhoods because, well, because police just would never do such a thing. There is a very quaint notion of civil liberties that's been introduced into this debate, but the fact is there's a balance to be struck here between, yes, on the one hand, centuries of democratic tradition, but on the other, the great threat to public order that comes from teenage revellers overturning shopping carts in the street and missing their evening curfew. The Barnett government has a long record in modernising civil liberties statutes, having previously brought in anti-association and mandatory sentencing laws. Two years ago he tried to bring in stop and search laws, but these were defeated when an unexplained virus overcame the members of the Labor and National Parties who actually took an oppositional stand on the matter. The Labor opposition has acted very responsibly on this question. In fact, to their credit, their main complaint has been that Barnett has not acted fast enough on the issue. Some people were expecting the Labor opposition to act like an opposition, but their main complaint so far has been that Barnett has not acted fast enough to tackle out of control parties seen so many announcements that they're going to do something about out-of-control parties, yet nothing has happened so far. Fortunately, nobody ever asks why do these parties become violent and out of control. The reality is there's no point in trying to understand and resolve the underlying causes of social problems. So I think really we're much better off empowering police to clog up the courts and fill up the prisons. But what does the public actually think about out-of-control parties? Have you ever experienced any out-of-control parties yourself? Absolutely. The Labor and Liberal parties have both been out of control for decades. I'm not sure that's what These we're getting These hooligans, at. they've taken turns to privatise public assets, attack workers' rights and withdraw funds from social services. Well... Killing innocent people in Iraq and Afghanistan, locking up refugees, in general acting like unruly mobs. Well, thank you. I think that's all we've got time for. It's hard to believe, but I know it's true. I saw it on evening news. Don't talk to me about out-of-control parties. Labor and Liberal, they're the out-of-control parties.